was just a bunch of old guys walking, you know, sort of staggering around Spring Street. Last night we had James McAllister at dinner, and my wife said to me, I didn't know your classmates knew so much about Afghanistan. There are many, many well-presented college events, college professors talk. I'm looking forward to the discussion this morning at 9.30 with uh, Jim Briggs. There is so much opportunity for conversation. We're having three meals together each day. You can do anything you want. People play tennis, they play golf. Hiking, biking, canoeing, fishing, whatever the heck it is. In my case, there's an opportunity to play golf three times, so I'm, I'm out on the golf course while people are doing all these other things. If you wanted to, you could go from one to the other uh, and sort of check in at the reunion headquarters for meals and not see your classmates at all. The other reverse is to is spend a lot of time around the reunion headquarters and your classmates come and go and you talk to them. And then there's Mass Mocha, which only gets better. Now they have the Saul Lewitt. It's an installation that's going to be there for 25 years, but we have tourists coming from all over the world. And in Williamstown, you can go to the Clark Art Museum or you can go to the Williams College Museum of Art. There's the Williams Reunion Jazz Band has a concert. The plan was, was so good and it was so well executed. There are some wonderful opportunities to learn from classmates who have made a name for themselves. You do go to lectures and you hear absolutely outstanding people speak. It's like Jim Moss talked about sleep. Jim is a wonderful lecturer and it was just terrific. The brothers Levy talk about viruses and bacteria. You can get some real education while you're here and you get exposed to some of the wonderful faculty members that, that we have. The reunions are much more than just cocktail parties. The 45th reunion, the 40th reunion, and for sure the 50th reunion have brought people together that didn't know each other. There's a lot of conference conversation about every subject that goes on in the world and some of them are quite in-depth. The class in a very strange way has sort of coalesced uh, into a group of people who have uh, demonstrated an interest in art and culture and history and politics. In any crowd there's always somebody that you really find that you have common interests with and you know, inevitably in this situation one finds several no matter how shy you are. And I have learned an enormous amount about people this weekend. There usually is some sort of component that's academic where we get to learn something <laughs> from a professor. Or Miss Learn, we're weekend. not sure. <laughs> <laughs>because it's a chance to see people and this one has been especially good because there are classmates here who I haven't seen in 50 years, a, a bunch of them, and you get into conversations very quickly with people that you haven't seen in 50 years and you're back where you were having a good time with them. One of the reasons I come back is because we met some really nice people and enjoy the um, company of these people and um, not to mention the fact that it's a gorgeous drive from Boston to Williamstown. I've been a lot of places, there's nothing like this. From my point of view, it's very interesting to hear the direction that a school like Williams is going to hear, what they're trying to accomplish in terms of admissions or academics. It's been a way for me to expand the number of people that I, I know and, and like. That's why I come back. It, it's my theory that part of that bonding comes from the fact that we were in this idyllic small community as we were transitioning from being teenagers to being adults. Now we are transitioning to the third third of our lives or well installed in the third third and we're facing an unknown future as we were then. And my theory is that we can be as useful to each other at this transition as we were in that early important transition. The reunions are spectacularly surprising in the fact that you have very interesting dialogues with people that you only casually knew or even knew of while here as a student. It's a beautiful area. It's just, there's nothing, there's, it's spectacular any time of year.
Mati da Paris. 